Welcome back to my channel. If you enjoy the video, Oh, are we filming something here? Yeah? Hmm, weird. I have something important to say, or semi-important to say before we actually get into this really crappy video. So, hi! My name is Valeria. If you're new here, welcome. If you've been here before, welcome back. As most of you know, my schedule for uploading is really retarded. What, what else is new? Come on. I make it very clear in every video that I have no idea when I'm, I will post another video because one, I am super lazy, two, I just take so much time to record, ouch, I just take, not to do it all, two, I just take so much time to record a video, get ready, get set up that I'm just like, I don't have enough time to do it. Do I love recording videos? Yeah, I love recording for you guys and I love talking to you guys and I miss being in front of the camera. So before we get into this video, I just really want to say some quick shout outs. Um, I've been really holding back on those and basically been updating the list on it. Some of them are the same because you guys know that I love you and then some of them are a little bit different, like maybe one or two are different. I'm just letting you know that the time that I recorded this video, like the gameplay video, was probably like a month or so back. And this part of this video, I'm doing it pretty recent. Um, but yeah, so let me just... Oh, I had a stretch there, sorry. Let me just get these shoutouts out of the way, then you guys can go ahead and watch the video. So, okay, so I think only... Yeah, I only added two people that I really want to shout out now. Um, one is OJ Gaming. Huge appreciation for you. You were pushing me for a while to post some videos, to work on videos, and I really appreciate that motivation. That eventually just stuck with me, like, in the back of my head, so I'm constantly like, like I have to put out a video, like, I have to put out a video. And not only you, like, a whole bunch of people, like, last night I was on a friend's stream and somebody on that stream was like, hey, like, are you posting videos? Two shout out to OJ Gaming, you doing your thing. Thank you so much for giving me so much motivation and pushing me and everything like that. I really do appreciate it. Okay, so another one was actually from my one of my subscribers, they want me to shout out this channel. Um, so this is from, he keeps changing his name, Monstery Sands. You know, okay, you know where you are. He asked me if I could give his friend, Draco Malfoy, 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 a shout out on my next video. And this was like sent like ages ago and I just kept forgetting to do it. So here's a shout out for your friend, Draco Malfoy. Bye, Malfoy. And then I'm just gonna give like all my shoutouts to the people who are sticking with me and they're supporting me. So, you know, my Fortnite squad, like my girls. Huge shout out to you girls. Always, always there for everything, no matter what, and I totally appreciate it. Vark Mafia, you know, same thing like my girls. You guys just always boost me up. I really do appreciate it. Like a lot actually. Because <laughs> it's it's so unreal to have internet thing with people and people who just want to continue to support you, right? It's so weird, but I really do appreciate it. And then a huge shout out to Xavia for giving me Unicorn Nation. Because you all know that I am obsessed with unicorns. I love unicorns. If you look around my room, I have unicorns basically everywhere. The only thing I don't have is a neon sign, which I'm actually working on getting. Xavia just tweeted me and she just said, you know, when I think of you, I think of Unicorn Nation. And I'm like, oh my so guys, subscribe to my channel, become part of the Unicorn Nation. So that is basically all of the shoutouts. Um, I just want to say sorry that my schedule, like my posting is so shit. Like I'm so sorry. But you guys know I can't keep up, like I'm just, eh. And then a little background to this game, I actually completed the game that you guys are going to see me play. Like it took me like two hours or something like that to play this game. And the first hour of this game was literally me just dying everywhere. Like. L's, 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 L's everywhere, <laughs> and I'm just like, what? Why am I dying so much in this game? Like, everything was killing me, and every stupid decision I made killed me. I recorded it, though, and I thought, like, you know, let me just put it up. It's, it's a pretty interesting game. I like the game. All right, you guys can actually get back into the video now. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like, comment. There's no point turning on the bell because, like, realistically, you, you will not be notified. <laughs> Do follow me on Twitter because you guys will always be updated on my Twitter. Also, I'm almost at 300 subscribers. I'm at 258 right now and can I get to 300? Can I get to 300 subscribers? Alright guys, okay that's it. You guys can go right back to the video, okay? Bye!
My name is Vadia and we're playing a horror game. So the game that we're playing is actually called Disturbed and it's like a click, like a clicking game. And it looks interesting and there's a part two to it. Another game that came out, so I'm debating on playing that as well, but I want to see how this one goes first. Another dull day passes, you struggle to manage your failing farm. Your crops are beginning to wilt and your cow is sick. For some time, the land has been very quiet. The air has grown thick and foul. Each passing day, you feel more uncertain if things will ever return to how they were before. Perhaps it is up to you. You made up your mind. You're going to do something bad. You stand in front of your humble home, pondering what you should do next. Maybe move to a different land. Go to the crops. Go inside the house. Go to the shed. Um, let's go inside the house first. Entering the house, he feels subtle easiness as if the growing blight outside has penetrated the walls of your safe haven. For what you see, however, everything is the same as you left it. Perhaps this may be a good time to just lay in bed and wish that all your problems would just go away. Bethan, interesting name, is also doing quite well. Never disappointed with the milk she provides. Oh, it's the cow. If things continue to go well, I may be able to invest in more animals. A farmer can only be so social with a cow. Dot, dot, dot. Dear journal, today has been a fortunate day. Somebody broke into my shed and stole some things. I actually don't mind if someone steals a, bit, a bite to eat from the garden, but to take my equipment, well, I put a lock on the door and hid the key. Nobody will ever get into my stuff again. Dot, dot, dot. Dear journal, I woke up one night to, to a foul smell. I God, I hate reading aloud. I've never come across before. I took a step outside to see what I could find, but I found nothing after searching the farm. Whatever it is, it must be bad. I should make a trip into the city and see what it's about. Should we lay in bed? You lay in your bed and fall asleep to the light sound of wind blowing outside the grass. Oh! You begin to hear whispers and chants, but you can't make anything of it. An image appears before you, a stone, glowing for we're alive. The chants get louder as your vision grows more into detail. You reach toward the stone with your hand. As your finger makes contact, a clash of thunder rattles around you. Your clothing and skin start to flake away like dust in the wind. The particles flow into stone, sapping the light from your body. You feel the pain you've never experienced before, and fears begin to flood over you. Oh. You suddenly see yourself laying in bed, never to wake up again. Your adventure ends here. <laughs> Good game. Go to the crops. A path divides the crops you have labored so hard to prosper these past months. A penetrating odor reminds you of your plants are decaying away and time is running short. Let's go to the pen. Oh, sh A toxic fume burns your nose as you enter the pen. Your poor cow lays lifeless, oh, Bethan, on the ground. As a growing blight slowly begins to consume her body, you feel sick to your stomach as you stand here, especially as you stare at the black mushrooms that dot the ground. Grab a mushroom. You kneel down and grab a mushroom. My bad. As you begin to rip it out of the ground, a cloud of spores spray from the mushroom. Your hands begin to burn and melt as you observe them. Slowly your body shrivels into up to the dark. Moist consistency as the poison spreads. Oh my god, this game is... This game is going to kill me in every single way possible. Leave the pen. Don't touch a mushroom. I don't want to die again. Let's follow the path. Is that a cave down there? You continue down the trail for a while until you see a cave off in the distance. Oh, I didn't even read that. Question if there could be something helpful in there. There is a faint whistle from the wind passing between the rocks. The temperature significantly cools as you enter the cave. You notice that there is a different smell, but you welcome it, comparing it to the deathly blight from outside. Bring it, Eden. Before you take another step, a large bear emerges from the darkness. You realize that you have made a terrible mistake, even thinking that something helpful could be in here. <laughs> Should we fight the bear or should we run away? Okay, let's see what happens if we fight the bear. I scan the ground, notice there are a number of just rocks you can grab to throw at the bear. You begin to do so as the bear approaches you. One after another, you throw rocks as hard as you can. The bear charges you as you bend over to grab another rock, tackling you to the ground. The bear bites into your neck. Your body quickly goes limp and you die. Your adventure ends here. You come to a stop as you stumble upon a broken wagon. Inspect the wagon. You look at the mess and find bits of food and clothes scattered about the scene. Steal it. You notice the key on the ground during your search. These noises. You pick up the key and continue on your way. After what felt like an hour or two, you reach a bridge. Nearby, the path is a small shack, similar to the house you have on the farm. The man that lives here is a kind fellow from what you can call. Maybe he's home. Inspect. You walk toward the structure and knock on the door. Da da da. You remember picking up the key from the wagon used it on the door. Buddy, 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 buddy. We don't enter people's homes without permission. But we do anyways. You decide to help yourself in. Now we're gonna die. Uh, 
Yeah, it looks like it. Observing the empty room, you realize something terrible has must have taken place here. Just like the wagon. You're overcome with fear as you think of the man that used to dwell here. Oh. You observe the trapdoor and notice the lock keeping it closed. With the key, you unlock the hatch and get it open. Without thinking, you travel downward. Oh, we're dead. Walking down the steps leading down below. Walking down the steps leading below, the air attacks your body with a piercing cold. You know, it's immediately that the woman chained to the wall. She doesn't seem to notice you as you study her. You feel darkness around you to stay in this awful place. Um, yo, save her. You tremble as you try to form worms in your mouth. You tremble as you try to form words in your mouth. Woman, you there. Let me out of here. The pressure is such a demand it makes you freeze. You take a moment to think about the situation before you respond. Me, what got you locked up here... What got you locked up to begin with? You'll never believe me, even if I told you the truth. Something brought you here. Please, have mercy on me. Mmm, honey. You don't look like I could trust you. She's gonna kill me. Or will she do something for me in return? Can we save? Yeah, let's save right here. Let's free the woman. You approach the woman and unlock the shackles that bind her. Don't get any funny ideas, lady. Okay? Don't think about it. As her arms become free, she moans in pain. Oh, thank you so much. The woman struggles to regain her strength, but starts to stand up on her own. As she gets up, she turns towards you. Don't even think about it. Eh, eh, you're too close. I will do you now a favor. Eh. What seemed to be a face of a helpless woman disappears as a horrible image manifests itself before you. You feel the chilling grip of a bone hand locks onto your arm. Energy flees from your body and you fall to your knees. And you feel the ends of your life slip away as everything goes black. It is unfortunate that your journey ends here. We're declining this time. I will not. No. Don't go. With nothing else to interact with, you make your way up the stairs. Bye, bitch. You can hear the woman laugh behind you. The voice causes the shake. To shack, to shake. <laughs> you leave the shack as fast as you could. This is why you don't help strangers. You don't talk to strangers. You don't help strangers. You don't approach strangers. There's some advice, kids. You cross the bridge safely and continue down the trail. After all that has happened, you feel that you should take a moment to rest. No, we're gonna die. You find a spot under a tree and sit down. Getting comfortable, you tilt your head back against a tree and gaze into the sky. Someone's gonna kill me. I feel like if I sleep, I'll die. Pick up the grass. As you pick up the grass blades and you reach, the ground begins to shake. Before you can get up, boots from below sprout the ground and wrap around your legs. You turn around to see a large, angry face looking back at you. I know someone's gonna kill me. Your, <laughs> your jaw drops in horror. No sound or scream escapes your tongue as a tightening grip of the roots squeeze whatever's, what air is left from your body. Your adventure ends here. So let's think about this logically. We picked up grass. And the tree killed us. I guarantee you, if we walk through that grass, something is gonna kill us. We're gonna continue down the path. Oh no, there's a well. We <sighs> you peer down the well. Other than evident water at the bottom, there's a coin resting against the wall of the well. If possible, you feel you should go down and take the coin. Who else is down there? That seems like a trick like a monster is laid it down there for us to get grab the coin lean over the edge of the wall there's no possible way you can obtain the coin by reaching for it with this in mind you turn and climb down the climb down along the inner wall of the well you take oh my god these noises you take a few successful steps but your luck runs out you misplace your foot and you fall tell me about your body clashes against the stone walls with a single knock on the head you lose all consciousness of your accident with a splash you fall into the water your body sinks effortlessly, and you drown without realizing it. Follow the trail in the grass. Following the stubble trail in the grass, you stumble upon what looks like a grave. Inspect the grave. You approach the grave, you look at the sword with intrigue. Don't touch it. Um, buddy, we're, we're, we're just looking. We're not, we're not here to hurt you. Before you can touch the sword, a ghostly figure appears before you. The sword, may I have it? Don't you know is that you don't take any possession from anything like because there's always 
You know, there's something always attached to a possession, like a spirit. That means you're gonna be haunted for the rest of your life. The blade is cursed. I am bound here by the pain of my past. If you desire the sword, free me from it. You slowly motion for the sword. Fool! Only something of a pure essence can free me. A rare hope, like a flower found in darkness. I'm pure. You step near the lake and look down into it. Watch, there's gonna be like a monster in the lake now. Like the Loch Ness Monster. Or what is that man? Fish man? Resting underwater is an orb of some sort sitting at the bottom of the lake. There's something strange about it. It's we're calling out to you. Oh, it's a... Buddy, we should know now that everything is out to kill us. So dive in. You start to make your way towards it. As you close your eyes, a giant fish rips your body apart. Okay, you die very painful of death. Your adventure ends here. You approach the tree and notice the hole is big enough to fit your hand in it. You look and see something shining in the hole as it were metal. Filling around with your hand, you find three knobs. One on the right, one center in the middle, and one on the left. We'll never learn. Press the knobs. Uh, oh. Let's press the middle knob. Oh. And then we're gonna do left. And then we're gonna do right. You wait for a moment, but nothing happens. It must be some sort of combination. Left, right, middle. Oh, one. His one finger up. You notice that there's only two fingers on his on the right, so left is one. Then the then left, right, left, right, right. You hear the rumbling of rocks as the ground starts to shift underneath you. Everything goes dark and you sink below the surface. A hole above you seals up, trapping you underground. Oh, buddy. You find yourself with no evident way out, but the path before you, in, but the path before you into the darkness. Your only choice is to move forward. You see three separate paths within the walls of the cavern. You come to divide. Which way do you go? Let's go left. You hear a subtle echo of shifting rocks before you. Ooh! An eye appears before you as, you gaze, as the gaze pierces the darkness. Do we die? Before you can do anything, tentacles burst out of the ground and grip your body. It pulls you about, but you resist as much as you can. Not sure what you can do, you continue to resist until you think it's something. Your body begins to grow weak as your strength burns away. You suddenly feel yourself being pulled to the ground and you're dragged about like a rag doll. Mmm, your adventure ends here. Pass race soon ends with a large mushroom sitting in front of you. A steady river of water flows between you and the mushroom. No, we know that mushrooms kill us. Get out. How many choices? Okay, so once going up more, like the right side's going up more, and the left is a little bit more down. Can't see anything in the darkness of it, so we're gonna go right. Oh, eventually, boy, can you tiptoe? Eventually make it into some sort of concrete room, turning around you see a hole in the wall where you came from. You guess that this wasn't part of the initial design. You turn around to see a door, there being a little nothing in the room, you decide to move on through the doorway. Who's there? You find yourself, it looks like a basement. You turn about to discover that each direction there is a door. Boxes of supplies and debris litter the floor in the corners of the room. You notice there are several markings on the doors and floors, some which scare you. You got a bad feeling about this place. Those look scratches over there, like right here. Okay, let's, uh, let's inspect the supplies. You find some rope in one of the boxes, feels strong to touch and has minimal wear. You decide to take the rope. Ooh, let's go through the middle door. Oh, shoot. You enter a room full of metal cages before you use a hallway marked with questionable markings. You don't like the feeling you have about this place where it was in these cages, certainly did not like to be locked up. Oh yeah, right here, it looks like it's open. Knows that there's an animal in the cage on the left of the room, but from the dark stains on its fur, it's dead right there. You cautiously walk down the hallway, entering a room with two cell doors. Before you can do anything, a large hound leaps in front of you. Beast doesn't look very suspicious. Beast doesn't look very vicious, but one wrong move can surely be the end of you. You pull out the knife and prepare for an attack. The dog reacts and starts to growl at you. Oh, but buddy, the hound dashes at you and sticks its teeth into you. Even with the knife, you merely cut the beast before it knocks the knife out of your hand. You don't survive long and die a painful death. 